Hello and welcome to Everyday Photographer. I'm your host, Chad Thompson, and today I'm going to share with you something that absolutely saved my life. So we're working in Final Cut Pro X here, and I want to talk about audio drift. If you haven't experienced this problem, ugh. So basically what I have here is a track from my Zoom H1 Handy Cam, or Handy Recorder, and then this is my actual video footage from my Canon 70D. Now you're going to notice here, let me zoom in just a little bit, that these audio waveforms down here are pretty on point. I didn't use a click track for this particular video, and that's because I wanted to test something, but yeah, you can see that the waveforms are actually very in line with each other, very straight. Well, if we move on down a little bit, let's go on down through the video, you're going to start to see what's called audio drifting. So basically what's happening here is my waveform is off very minuscule amounts, but it's enough to tell a difference in the video. So if I were to cut the audio from my uh, Canon 70D and just have my external recorded audio source playing, it's not going to sync up with my voice. And that's a problem. It's only off by maybe a few milliseconds, but that's enough to make all the difference, and it's so annoying. Look how big this gap is. So here's where the Canon 70D's audio starts. Here's where the Zoom's audio starts. Now, I don't know what's causing this in my you know, position because I made like five or six videos in a row. Everything was fine. No settings change, and then all of a sudden, everything's going to fall apart. But here's what you do. So let's go ahead and get rid of all this. If you just grab your actual video footage up here at the top, and then you grab, holding down the Command key on a Mac, your audio footage that was recorded uh, separately, just have both of those selected, go up to Clip at the very top of your Final Cut menu, hit Synchronize Clips right here, let this do whatever it wants to do. You can name change it if you want to, whatever. I just go ahead and hit OK. Now what this is going to do, this is automatically going to synchronize those clips for you so that the audio fits, and it doesn't take very long at all. So here's my synchronized clip. I can just pull it in my timeline. The audio is already synchronized. It looks good. It sounds good, whatever. I can actually just go ahead and grab my blade tool. I can cut off this starting point where I'm just getting everything going, and then bam. So you can see that everything's synced up, but let's go ahead and skip ahead to where we were having the problems. Hopefully you're being able to hear the audio that's back here. But you can see that everything is working out perfectly, and that's awesome. So if you guys have ever had any audio sync issues, this is the perfect way to do this. You don't have to do a click track or anything like that. You just record your audio separately, stick it in here, synchronize the clips, done and done. But hopefully this was a video that helped you guys out today. If it did, please be sure to leave a thumbs up, comment some stuff in the sec comment section below about things you would like to see on this channel. And as always, be sure to create something new today.